At 5.30, some families started a petition to merge Las Plumas High School and Oroville High School. And Action News Now sports director Jenna Fink is live at Oroville High. So Jenna, why do they want to combine the two? Well, parents started the petition because they want one team, one pride under one school here in Oroville, Haley and Allen. Now, I spoke with one man who signed the petition. He didn't want to be on camera, but he tells me he feels the teams would be more competitive. Others I spoke with were split. I think it's a great idea. For one thing, it uh, probably save uh, some money when they can buy things together instead of separate. A petition to merge Oroville and Las Plumas High Schools with over 150 signatures. When it comes to sports in particular, I think that if the two, the two schools join, they'd just be that much stronger, they'd be more competitive. It would give them uh, a lot more uh, ability to, you know, to have a variety of different players. Supporters want all students to share the benefits of both schools, but not everyone is completely on board with the idea. It, that would be very uh, different for our town. Um, it would change everything with the bell game, with the rivalry. I reached out to Oroville School Board President Scott Damon. He says the district hired a firm to evaluate the pros and cons of merging Las Plumas and Oroville High. They're waiting for that report. This isn't the first time the idea of merging has come up. Former school board president Cameron Sweeney pushed for it back in 2016. The initial reason was to consolidate resources and uh, to create basically equal opportunity for all students of both high schools. It was met with a lot of disapproval at the time. Why? <clears throat> we had a meeting with the town to come and uh, hear their voices. And while at the meeting, a lot of the concerns were about the bell game, the colors, tradition, um, but very little was focused on academics or opportunity for the kids. Sweeney says it's about more than just sports. The two schools offer different programs, like Las Plumas has FFA. Oroville doesn't. The two schools already share Harrison Stadium for football games, and the marching band competes as one team. I graduated in 2002, and I was in the LPO marching band. And uh, we were consolidated, and uh, we took sweepstakes every year, and we still take sweepstakes every year ever since. So at least the past 20 years, we've been a part of that. And it just shows what can happen when you bring two forces together and you can unite. The man I spoke with who signed the petition tells me he plans to go to tomorrow's school board meeting to learn about why people may be opposed. Live in Oroville, Jenna Fink, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Thanks, Jenna. That meeting starts at 6 p.m. tomorrow in the Transportation Conference Room at Washington Avenue in Oroville.